Good morning. It's Sunday morning, and it's time to open Natalie Patel's package. <laughs> This is Lanner Smith from Sense Memory. It's Sunday morning, and usually on Sunday mornings I go out to brunch with friends, and I start the brunch off with a, a cocktail, a brunch cocktail, and that would either be like a Bloody Mary or a Ramus Fizz. Well, this morning I'm staying home with you, and I'm going to be uh, having still having brunch a little bit later, but I'm going to have my my cocktail, and that will be a famous cocktail created in Venice by Giuseppe Cipriani in Harry's Bar. And Harry's Bar is a very famous bar um, uh, in literature because it's a, it was a, a hangout of um, Ernest Hemingway. And a lot of movie stars went there too, like uh, Ava Gardner, Clark Gable, etc. And it's still in Venice and still very popular, but more touristy now than it used to be. Um, and the drink is called a Bellini. Now, um, the Bellini was invented by uh, Giuseppe Cipriani, as I said, and he was admiring a painting by Bellini, the, the uh, um, Venetian artist that was hanging on the wall in the, uh, in the bar, and he decided to make a drink to honor that beautiful painting, the golden tones in that painting. So he, they created the Bellini, and the Bellini is very simple. It is um, one and a half ounces of fresh peach juice and champagne, and I garnished it with a a uh, little um, strawberry, that's what that is, it's strawberry, and just to, to give it a little color. So, cheers. Mmm. Fizzy and peachy and mm, delicious. Really, really delicious drink. So, as I said, uh, as I was waking up, it, Natalie's package came last week. And I'm, first of all, before I open it, I want to thank you, Natalie, for thinking of me and being so generous and just being an all-around great fragrance friend here on YouTube. And um, I just think you're wonderful. So let's see what's in here. It came all the way from Brisbane, Australia. And Natalie told me that, that there was supposed to be a note in it, and I haven't opened it yet, but she's <laughs> just a couple of days ago discovered the note was uh, still at home, so that, she was hoping that was the draft. So let's see what, what do we have here. Ah. <laughs> no, I don't see a note. I do see this. It's a bookmark with traditional animals of Australia. I see koala bears and uh, kangaroos and some animals I don't know. But you can see, isn't that cute? Thank you, Natalie. You know I love to read, and that's going to go right in the book I'm reading right now, which is um, uh, Vicki Lester's um, It's in This Kiss. So, okay. I'm going to get my other glasses. Hold on. So, the first thing, uh, the, I, I took a peek to make sure I could read it, because the handwriting is very small. But the first one is Amir Al Oud. Now that uh, uh, we all of us who follow Natalie know that she loves this, and I gotta smell it right now. Just have to smell it, like oh, right now. Oh, oh my God, that is gorgeous. That is gorgeous. It. I don't know if you could ever heard of an oud being described as fresh, but there's certainly a fresh, bright sense to this oud. It really is beautiful. Thank you, Natalie. That's beautiful. Let's see what else we've got. So then, now we've got uh, Tukad by Rosha, which is uh, supposed to be wonderful. I haven't smelled it, but I'm very excited. Look at that little, isn't that, look at that little sample bottle. Isn't that cute? It's like a little soldier. And then there's uh, Sotil by Yosh, 
which, whoops, where's my camera? There we go. So tilt by Yosh. Yosh is a San Francisco um, perfumer, and um, I met her. She's a very, very nice lady, and she also reads auras. So what else do we have here? Uh, Loray Rodkin, Gothic 2. I'm going to be busy, Natalie. I'm going to be really busy. Oh, what's this? Princess, Princess Musk. Oh, mm. oh, it's gonna spray. I'm gonna spray it now. Um, and then what else do we have here? Muscalia by Haram Haraman. And then what else? Oh, Leila Bo Neroli 36 perfume. I'm really excited about trying that one. And then what else? Um, Jennifer, oh, Jennifer Aniston, okay. Look at her perfume. I wonder if it's filled with regret and, and longing for Brad Pitt. I doubt it. Oh, it's nice. Mmm, delicious. I'll, I'll, I'll definitely try that later. Okay, don't want to lose the top off of that. Okay, and then... Le Lobo's Rose 31 Parfum and Valentina. Oh, I know how much you love that, Valentina, so thank you for sending that. I'll definitely try that one, maybe do a review. Um, and, well, what's this one? I can't read it. It's too small. I'll find out later. So the one I couldn't read was, uh, is Tainted Love. And um, let's try that. Wow. Oh, I really like this. Actually, it. I went to an event yesterday uh, at Tiger Lily where we got to taste um, um, whiskey. This is by uh, Sane, I think her name is. Um, I'll be talking about her later. Um, and we got to taste. Uh, whiskeys and then match them up with um, certain notes or chords and it was really fun and this this one matches up perfectly with my Bellini it's fizzy and a little spicy and peachy it's perfect thanks Natalie I'll let you know and the last one is Masak Masakom Oud. Oh, another one from the Middle East. Why well, don't I open that now? I might spill it. Well, I just really would like to thank you, Natalie, for th being so thoughtful and sending me these beautiful samples. And um, I'm definitely going to have fun with them and maybe do a couple of reviews. So in the meantime, remember, where would you love and not what they say you should like? Happy Sunday. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm, some eggs benedict after that.